All right, gents. I got uh, looking for opinions. No, obviously, thank you. Obviously, everybody wants a gun that can do everything. And it just, you know, just isn't possible with current technology. But I feel I've gotten pretty close, unless I'm completely missing something. And I'm missing medium to long range. What am I gonna do? Um, I, you know, with, with you know, P, you know, dual tubes that, you know, aren't a clip on, it's not like I can ID, you know, hundreds of yards anyway. So I feel like I've squeezed out the most I can with this setup. This was my original, like, you know, you shits, you, you're fucked. This is what I'm gonna grab. You know, it's pretty stout. Geisley rail, it's, you know, Magpul. And my SIG can swap, these are, you know, QD can swap back and forth. You know, I'm testing out this Army Tech Lite so far. It, you know, it's taken a beating, it's potted. This is the, uh, what's it called, the Clash. It's not the newest generation, but it's not the oldest one either. I think it's the middle one. Um, you know, solid. But it is a 10.5. You know, some velocity issues there. So then I took my lightweight gun and I said, you know, I'm sick of hauling around heavy shit. So I started, I took my lightweight gun and I, I, I put AGM, you know, TS-25 on it. 508T, the titanium one. 16 inch pencil barrel, gun tech, gun tech. You know, is it Geisley? No, but it's held up so far, banged it around a little. And I just got the finishing touch, Streamlight, Streamlight TLR VIR2, white light and IR, illuminator, laser. I haven't even tried it, just got it today. And I know the white light's not. You know, I did, I had this nightstick. I think this is the 550 on it. And this is like 600 lumens. I'll turn the, the light off down here maybe we can get a comparison so it's you know that vir is half the lumens but again i have to make some compromises apparently <laughs> so i mean you know okay yeah, this is on light yes it is I just sort of one hand this here so you know there's the stream light at supposed 300 lumens. Here is the 600 lumen night stick that was on it. So there's a difference, there's no doubt, but you know, like I said, it's compromises had to be made. But I feel like this gun now is the most I can squeeze out of a gun, you know. With that, with you know, giving up the least amount, which is long range. I mean, theoretically, during the day, I can even pull off this quick because it's quick to detach ADM and it does hold zero when I take it off. So, you know, if I'm worried about banging this around, you know, take it off during the day or when I don't, you know, need it, it's, you know, when I stole my nods too during the day, and I can go to town. Um, just wondering what if, I, if I'm missing something, what do you guys think? Also, if you guys are interested, I'm not gonna do it if no one wants, cause I'm lazy. I got a ton of other shit to do. But if you guys want, I can do a comparison between this and the Clash, or like whatever it's called, I forgot what it's called. Um, you know, this is supposed to be Russian, full power unit, but I don't know if it's cause this is the cheap model, it, but it most certainly does not, the laser does not look full power to me, it looks normal. And the Illuminator, you know, it was good to 100 yards, give or take, maybe a little more, but it's it's very, very, very floody. And I wish there was a way I could, you know, focus it, because then it'd be, especially for the money, with at least 230 bucks. I mean, for 230 bucks, it's built like a tank. And like I said, out to 100 yards, which again, I have to ID, am I really gonna be blasting past that with night vision? Am I even gonna be using night vision in, in a, probably not. So, eh, probably fine, but, I don't even know. I've heard some people say, you know, expect. Supposedly this goes a little bit farther than 100 yards. So uh, the illuminator I'm talking about. So we'll see. You know, I was thinking about getting one of those. Uh, what is that? That new one out, the CTF-1 or whatever. 
This got the white light and everything because the illuminator on that is supposed to be pretty nice. But uh, that was like, that's I think 800 bucks. And this is 299. So, and it's light. I'm looking to keep this pretty light. I think this weighs in as it sits with the full mag at uh, eight and a half pounds or something like that. Which is awesome. I mean, this thing's this even. Well, that's not with the battery pack. With the battery pack, it's, I think it's more than that. But you know, I don't technically need it. I can take that off. But you get what I'm saying. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, as usual, I have to say with a disclaimer: Yes, my voice always sounds like this. There's nothing wrong. Well, I'm sure there's something wrong, but there's nothing acutely wrong. <laughs>